Where are my shoes? Have you seen them? Yes, it is right there under the table. I have put it there while cleaning the room. Oh, thank you. Is there anything you remember that you want to give me? No, darling. I have already given everything to you. But, I need one thing from you. Do you promise to give it? Sure, why not? Please ask for anything, mommy. Promise me that if any hurdle comes in your college life and future, you are going to share it with me. You will not hide anything from me. Of course, trust me mommy, I will share everything with you. And also I am mature enough now to any situation myself. You do not worry. Oh, my baby, may God gives you every happiness, and best things comes your way. Thank you the blessings. Now it's time to leave. Please call the driver and ask him to lift my bags. These are pretty heavy. Now give me permission to leave, it's getting late. Jesus, bless me, I am going to enter in a new phase of my life. So, how long it is to reach? We are about to reach airport in 10 minutes. I wish you good luck madam for your future. Thank you bro. You're welcome madam. And here comes the airport, let me lift your bag. What kind of food they are serving? If this is the condition over here, what I can expect from Sydney? Don't know, what is coming my way? Mom Dad, I reached the airport and I will do my best, do not worry. Fantastic. I am traveling to overseas for study. Bye home and high new life. No. Oh my heels. Oh god my bag. Are you alright? Yes, I think so. What is this? What is she wearing high heels even when she cannot walk properly into them? After all, girls only need to show fashion, that's it. Well, now I am fine, where is my seat? Oh, it is 37A. Excuse me, is it 37A? I don't think so. Then, where is 37A? Why is she asking me? Would you please ask from stewardess? I am not a flight attendant. What? I just asked? Rude thug, it's better. I will look for myself. Relax, now I am fine. Well, it is just cultural difference as my mom said. Anyway, he is so ridiculous, isn't he? I am not too smart but I know how to respect others. Taxi, where is my address? Cool, Australia looks good. Please mind your steps. Oh, 
For kind advice you should wear comfortable shoes during such long travel. It will really help you. Ah, yes. We'll take care next time. Oh, he cared. Ridiculous. Why girls come alone when they cannot take care of themselves? Anyways, I hope she is fine. It's too late. Let me hire a taxi now. Hey taxi, come here. Miss, are you alright? Do not worry, you will love living here. It's already embarrassing two times in front of such tossy jerk. Well, not a good start. Well, have a seat. I am fine, thank you. I am just thinking about a Tosco passenger. Wow, very fascinating city. It looks amazing. Hi, welcome. I'm Bold. I will show you the red room. Nice to meet you, bro. I am in. I am so excited to be here and entering my student life. This is your room, $220 per week. Cool, I will rent it. Thanks, bro. Hope you'll be used to new culture very soon. Good luck. I had to do that. My parents tried hard for my study and tuition fee, so I had to do my best. Congratulate, you did it. Best negotiation. Thanks bro, no doubt I can do it, and I did not forget our celebration drink from Asia. Let's drink it. Would you please bring it to me? It is in my blue bag in the bedroom. Cool, sure. Let's have fun. Here, I found it, a blue bag. Let me open it. But, what is it? A pair of shoes. From where the hell it comes here, where is the wine? Where are you? You didn't get the wine? What the hell are you doing there? I am afraid, there is no wine in this bag. What? Are you serious? Yes, see it, let me come there. Look at it, what is here? Oh no, who took my wine? It is high heels of some girl. Yes, a high heel. Throw them away, I lost my wine bro, sorry about that. No worries, we have enough time to celebrate it later. I am sorry about lost the wine. Thank you. Well, I will clean it up then see you tomorrow. Hilarious girl. She has flat in her bag. Hey, mate do not forget to throw the shoes too. But these shoes are new, never been worn by someone. I do not care, throw them away. Well, why should I care for her? Okay, we'll do that. See ya tomorrow. See you bro. And cool, don't spoil your mood, it is just an incident. I am settled well. Well done. Yes, yeah, sorry, I bought your shoes, you can pick it tomorrow. Well, where's her shoes? I think I have put it in blue bag. Let me check. Oh no. What is it? Where is the shoes? Oh, at that moment, I have exchanged the bag with Tossie's bag. No, what should I do for her? Her parents asked me to take over her shoes. Hello, it's me, Anne. I am sorry, I have lost my bag and your shoes. I am so sorry, I will repay it for you. That Tossie, must be thinking that I have exchanged his bag, which I didn't. New day, new school and find me job. Well, ran $200 per week and transportation $50 per week, for food $100, so I have to work hard. Never bother my parents on it. I should pay Dari's shoes too. It is about $120 or cheaper? I wish that shoes are not too expensive. Let me see, how I can manage it and how much I need for a month then. I need sneakers too. I am not used to high heels, 
Well, this month I totally need approximately $2,100. I need to. Wow, fantastic. I cannot express my emotions by words. This country really looks good. Cool. I feel comfortable on it now. Yes that Tossie was right, if I had it I would wear it during long flight. Woohoo, fascinating, so thankful to my mom and dad for giving me this opportunity. Your daughter will try hard study in life. Well, thanks to Tossie though for his suggestion. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Swarnali from India. Hello, I am in, very pleased to meet you. Thank you for the Sita though. Have you heard about India before? Yes. My uncle went there. He told me about the culture of India. I was really impressing. How did you find staying in Australia? Let me know if you need any help and same I will do. We both are new in this country. Can we be friends? Sure, I am staying nearby too. I will keep in touch with you. Be friends. Hi everyone, I am Carol your lecturer. Welcome to the Diploma of Nursing at the College. Now let's start our first lecture. This unit of competency describes the skill and knowledge required, within the scope of practice PL, what? What did he say? Practice, what PL what? No, I do not understand at all. Well, students do you understand this lecture? Are you following me? We will start new topic in the next class. Please ask if you any doubts in this topic. Doubts are also be cleared on Wednesday class. What? I even don't understand the first lecture. How come I will understand the coming classes? I am very excited. New college. The lecture was so interesting. Is it? Ah, really? Swarmily, I have to go early today. See you tomorrow. See you. Pleased to meet you. What a shame. How can I finish this course? I didn't understand anything and everybody in the class agreed to teach her. Hey, how are you? Are you going somewhere? Hi, I am very well made. Heading to a warehouse. Are you in charge of warehouse project? Yes, we need some time to finish it. Well, let's see, what can we manage it then? Yes, boss, see you later at meeting today. I need the report of warehouse project on Thursday. Please make sure to complete it. You can leave now. Yes, my car, here it is. Let's go. What is going on here? I have lost my bag, go into shoe debt and could not even understand the class, oh. You want to die? Are you fool? Watch another side. Oh mommy, oh, I have startled. I am sorry, I am not used to left side rule yet. Wait, do I know her? What a familiar appearance. But who cares, let it be. Wait, do I know her? What a familiar appearance. But who cares, let it be. Crap people. Yes crazy girl, I am listening and it was totally your fault. I was just correcting you. You have no right to shout at me. But, how do I know her appearance? It seems like, I have seen her before. Indeed, I do know the car mark. How can I find that rude man even I did not see his face from that big city? Am I a little stupid? Yeah, it is because, I was angry. But, I am not gonna spare him if given a chance. I will surely make him learn lesson. Idiot. Hi, bro. How have you been? Are y'all right? You are looking sad. Is there anything wrong with you? Actually, bro, I am not feeling good here. 
I regret to come here expensing such huge amount of money. I have lost my bag and my friend's expensive shoes, comes to debt, can't understand lecture, even do not understand English. I could not be used to left side driving real hence I always see another side while crossing road. Even, I can't trust myself to study at the college and used to new culture and new friends in the college. Now, I am also afraid of passing assessments. I can't hold parents trust, I am just playing with their money that they saved for years. It is just start. No worries. I am all international students overpass these problem and they struggle to be used to new life and environment. Just calm down and relax, be around your teachers and classmates, express your feelings to them. Then they will understand you and help you out, there are many vacancy sources as well. Write your CV as well. How can I find the job? I need to work hard this month, I need money to take off my expenses myself. I am really thankful to your advice. I will do my best and I am so proud of you. Well, first I need to find part-time job for myself. I think gumtree.com.au is the website. Great. There are many vacancies and many applications sent. Hello, good morning. I am calling from GBS Australia. Did you applied for wait staff position? Yes, I did it yesterday. Do you have any experience of wait staff? No, actually I do not have any experience but I can learn anything quickly. Do you have any RSA certificate? No, actually I do not have. I am sorry, we are looking for qualified and experienced staff for this position. Bye. Did you apply for labor position? Yes, I did. Do you have any experience and have you completed white card qualification? White card? I do not have sorry. So sorry, we need someone who has completed this certificate. Bye. Unbelievable, I am getting reject from every position. Are you working on warehouse project? We need to finish it this month. Yes, I need to hire more staff and finish it this month boss. Only, this is the way we can deliver it to the given date. Sounds good. You can hire but I need the project complete. I have just published vacancy AD on our website. We'll hire people quickly in just two days. Let's wait for the applications. Ah, feeling hungry. Let's go out for lunch. Sure, feeling hungry too. No way. I need to find a job immediately. What are these certificates? I do not have them. Let me Google another jobs. Wait, this is new I posted over here. Let me check its requirement. Oh, warehouse staff. No additional requirements. Only strong and hard working is sufficient. Let me submit my application for it. I want this job. Hello, am I speaking to that? Yes. Speaking, yes I have applied to your ad. Could you please show up today on the provided address? Yes, for sure. I will come. Finally, I'm going for the interview. Yes, I need this job anyhow. It seems like I will get it. Hi, I am in. I am here for a job interview. Hi, I am Alex. Thank you for coming. But I do not think you can work in warehouse. Because, it is very hard work and you are not strong enough to do it. What? I am rejected again. It cannot happen this time. Wait, what happened? Don't get upset. There are enough jobs in this city you can apply for. Surely, you will get the one very soon. Thank you for your advice. But, you must have not called me when you don't want to hire me. Anyways, bye. I don't think I will get any job here. I am losing my every hope. Well, I am very tired and I want a deep sleep. Hey, did you receive any applications on that post? Yes, not any appropriate. What do you mean by that? I have one girl's application and she came yesterday for the interview, but I denied her as it is very hard for the girl to do any warehouse job.
No, Alex I have one more position of manual data entry work, where I am looking someone urgently to fill it. Can you call that girl again? Sure, she will be very happy coming in, as she was in a need of job. I will call her for interview tomorrow. That would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. You need to go to that room with your resume. Hello, sir. Oh, you are Alex. But you dined me yesterday. Do you have anything else for me? Yes, it's a manual data entry work. Yes, I can do that. How much you are going to want to pay to me for it? Would you accept $20 per hour? Yes, sure. Great. Come to the warehouse location tomorrow at the given time. Your work start tomorrow. Yes, sure. I will be there. Oh, this is my cabin. Let me sit. Chair is comfortable. It's good. But I feel something is not good here. Why is everybody staring at me when I entered? Am I the single girl working here? But, I cannot leave this job, I got it after very hard struggle. Might be, same things happen everywhere. Because this is my first experience I have joined any office. Let it be. I have a lot of work today. How was your first day? Are you comfortable? Yes, I am fine. Enjoy your work though, you can call me if you need any help. Sure, we'll do that. Alex, where is the new girl? Who you are talking about? The one who has joined for data entry work? Oh, she is right there in the corner cabin? Hello, I am Boy X. I am your boss. How are you doing? Do you understand the work? Hello sir, I am doing fine. It seems like I have seen you somewhere. Definitely, you're the guy in the airport. Yes, yes, you're the girl who slipped twice in the airport. So finally we meet again. How are you doing? Are you okay? Forget it. Accept this part-time job. What else are you doing? I am student and studying in the University of Sydney, Australia. Oh, great. So, what you want to in future? I would like to peruse MBA from the big university. Sounds interesting. Even, I am planning to do MBA in future. <laughs> 